Well, it look like the Lions, I mean, the Pistons are going to be part of another um, rescinded trade. Remember last year, Mo Bamba, they sent them back to Orlando because of concerns over the foot injury. Now, Gary Payton II, who was part of the, I guess, Portland, Detroit, Atlanta, Detroit trade. <laughs> well, not, not Atlanta. Sadiq, well, yeah, I guess you got to say Sadiq Bank if you headed back to Detroit. You know, well, Gary Payton, part of the three-team original trade, Portland, uh, Detroit, and Golden State. Um, has a core injury that's going to take months to heal. And Golden State now is thinking about sending them back to Portland, which will make Wiseman go back to Golden State, which will make uh, them send a five second round pitch for CD Bay to go all the way back to Detroit. Let's talk about it. Check out Detroit Pistons Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. So, I mean, shit. I mean, they knew he was injured when they traded for him, though, didn't they? That, that's the crazy thing about it. Just keep him. I mean, y'all really need him like that? That's my thing. Do y'all really need him? Just keep him, but hey, it is what it is. I mean, Trey Weaver got some luck. Take some chances on some second on some second chance guys. Mo Bamba like he would have been the truth. You know, we got concerns over a foot, a foot of a seven foot guy. You know, the guy that big, I get it. I get your concerns. So so Wiseman could be headed back because of Gary uh, Payton Core injury, core injury that's, they say it's gonna take that could take months to heal. I mean, so I, mean, I really don't see what they're crying about. It's eventually gonna heal. It ain't like his foot fell off or his, his legs fell off. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. That's how I look at it. But hey, it is a you know, deal is a deal. So um, they could have just paid Gary Payton a second to begin with. We were, you know, now we kind of get the track record for, for Trace and get rescinded like it's going to get rescinded. The Wise won't be coming to Detroit. You have some fans that didn't like it. Some fans like me that see the way you see approach. Some fans that Troy Weaver can piss in the lemonade jar and call it lemonade. They're going to drink it regardless. So, you know, so you know how, you know how it go. But, uh, I just wanted to see how it was going to truly work. That's how I wanted to see how it truly was going to work. And, um, you know, you know, how him and, you know, Dern was going to work and how they was going to balance him and how to integrate him. Now, what chances do I think that it actually was going to work? I think it was a 50-50 chance. I do. I think it was a 50-50 chance for it to work. I just didn't trust the Wayne Casey to get it to work. So that was my thing. I just didn't trust the one Casey. Don't know nobody trust him. I tried to warn everybody about Casey couldn't coach, but ain't nobody want to believe. Him. You know. But and he not only can he can't he can't coach, but you know, he started the development of a lot of these these young guys on this team. So the chances of him, you know, this this less than less than 30 game sample that Wiseman had to show you something, that's that's gonna be hard. Like I said, that was going to be hard. You know, just given the opportunity and the confidence to play, I think he could have done something. But on top of that, it's like, I told y'all, mentally, he got to get over a mental hurdle. You gotta, he got to understand sitting on the bench in Golden State where they didn't really give him a chance, which I didn't know. You know, they don't have time for him to just learn his growing pains. You know, they trying to win a championship, you know. He was injured and they ain't got time to catch him up to speed, which they should have. They should have. They should have let him catch up to speed and just let him learn by trial by fire. If he filed out, so be a balloon in the game. But a lot of them veteran coaches don't be liking them, them young players. They don't be wanting to develop and they don't have the patience in the line. But if you but if you sit there and you take the uh you sit there and you take the growing pains early on. I kind of think it like it as a puppy. A lot of people get a puppy, don't know what they're getting themselves into. They don't want to take the time to train it like the puppy supposed to train itself. It's patience, it's repetition, it's diligence, it's consistency. It's the same thing with these young basketball players, bro. You got to give them a chance to get on the floor. Practice ain't enough for them. They don't have practice having you paying a thousand AAU games a year 
They don't have the practice habits. You gotta put, you gotta just do the trial by fire. Help them establish a professional study habit and studying film, and one day it's gonna click. But just having them sitting on the bench, at the end of the bench, go to the G League, and you know, you see your contemporaries like Anthony Edwards, LaMelo Ball flourishing, and you just sitting there like, I'm, I'm as good as them. They just went to situations in which they got thrown to the fire. They had no other choice. You end up going to Golden State where they want to win right now. So all the talent, all the young talent go to the end of the bench. And we expect you to figure it out like Justin Poole, but everybody, I mean, Jordan Poole, everybody ain't Jordan Poole. You know, everybody not Jordan Poole. That's the, that's the crazy thing about it. Everybody not Jordan Poole. So, so now it's the rehabilitation. I like, you know, instantly throwing him into the fire. I like that. Giving, giving him that, that confidence boost that he needs. I like that. Give it to him. You know, him and Dirk can figure it out. If they don't, then guess what? Somebody move to the bench. We stagger your minutes. And so be it. But you ain't got nothing to lose right now. So, I mean, I like the Mohammed bomb. I like what Troy Weaver doing, giving guys second chances. Only one I really didn't like giving the second chance was Marvin Bagley because they got he got to be able to defeat him, bro. In, in the Mo, Mo Bomb, not Mo Bomb, I keep calling him Bo Bo, excuse me, I mean Bo Bo. Bo Bo trade from last year. Bo Bo, you know, uh, he could defend. James Wiseman, he could defend. And they both give you offensive balance, so I like kind of what he's what he doing. It ain't like he trading major uh, com commodities. It ain't like he trading major commodities for, uh, you know, for, uh, for, uh, you know, for second chance players. He ain't really trading nothing. You wasn't going to use Sadiq Bay. And then, you know, the aspect of having Sadiq Bay come back into the fold, I'm going to get there. Hold on. I'm going to cut myself off. But the finish on Wiseman, I like the idea of it. You know, the premise of it, but we have to wait and see. But, you know, I don't know if, you know, can they re can they re can they rebuff the trade and push it through? Like, we'll get them extra, you know, a compensation for taking Gary Payton a second. Maybe they can do that. Maybe they can take extra compensation for Gary Payton a second to rebuff the trade or put somebody else in, their, in this place. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that can happen, so I'm not sure, but um, but if they can sweeten the pot in the league and say, okay, he can sweep. Because that's going to be hard for Wiseman to go back to Golden State. Now you really know you don't want me. Now it's going to be hard to go back for Sadiq Bay to go back, you know, where they allow him to practice, and then he got traded and had to leave the practice facility. Now I go back to integrating to that, and now I feel some type of way. You know, now I feel some type of way. You know, what am I what am I supposed to, you know, so hopefully they figure it out. We still end up with Wiseman and all that type of stuff. But Sadiq Bay got an extra year on this on this contract so they can move him. But apparently he ain't worth nothing but five first round picks. And my thing is why they just didn't do Wiseman for Sadiq Bay straight up. Maybe for cap purposes. I understand that I understand that part of it. But yeah, for Sadiq Bay, all them going back to their original team, Gary Payton the second can take that. Ain't shit he can, he can take that. That, that. that ain't shit to cuz. He's a veteran. He got his money. And that's what he was looking for. He got a championship. He got his money. So it ain't, it ain't shit to him. Veteran veterans know how to how the business go. He bounced around quite some time in his uh his his NBA career. So it ain't, it ain't shit to him. He gon' he can be he gon' he gonna eat that. Dog gonna eat that, so he gonna eat that. But for them young guys, that's a mental hurdle that they gotta they gotta clear. That's a mental hurdle that they gotta clear, bro. So it's gonna be tough putting them young guys right back on the team that they that they came from.
Trust me, that shit gonna be tough. You know, and hopefully they got strong, they got strong support systems that can, you know, help them overcome that mental part of it. So, and in my opinion, you know, hopefully they remain professional. Cause you seen what that kid from Cle Cavaliers did, and they traded his ass. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Kevin Porter. You know, and he got it together to look like, so that's good for him. He was a guy that we could have drafted, but instead we went on and took, uh, we traded to pick the Milwaukee and shit. So, I mean, it is what it is. But, yeah, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Link tree is the first link in the description. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace. And check out the Detroit Piston Talk playlist for more videos like this.